The helm of the downtown mosque opened its doors to the community today as a way for people to learn about Islamic faith through history, prayer and food. Simone Gavros has more. Hamiltonians filled the downtown mosque today for its open house to learn more about the faith. I came out to find out more about the Muslim faith and um, to participate in the activities that are being offered today. You're a little shy to come in at first and then as soon as you just spend a little bit of time here, you're comfortable and I think that's what we all need to do, more open houses. The event is done every year and features conversations with the Hamilton Muslim community, a tour of the mosque, prayer and food. We are a big part of the Hamilton community, um, so people should know about us, know that we're here, know who we are, what we stand for and what we believe. I feel like it's very wholesome seeing new people come and I, um, it makes a lot of Muslims happy to see more people coming into their religion and everything. One of the activities here at the mosque include allowing women to try on hijabs just like this one. I think it's lovely. I've always admired uh, they're sticking to what they believe in, wearing, wearing what they wear, and I think they look lovely. And I think it's, it feels so good. Dar Salaam Hagar says that the hijab represents modesty, not just by covering your face, but being modest in how you act as well. People say that it is oppression and that it is covering the beauty, but um, in my perspective, I think it's more framing the beauty of the woman, because again, uh, women are gems in Islam, and we think um, that they are very, very, very beautiful and we need to, you know, frame that. Imam Kamal Gurji says that this event is an important way to strengthen the relationship between different faiths. Also uh, eliminate misconceptions that are going around. If you want to learn about Islam, uh, to learn it from us as a source rather than uh, hearing it from somebody else. He hopes people will take away an understanding of the religion, traditions, culture and history. I hope also like churches and synagogues and other places of worship will do the same uh, so that we can get to know each other's faith. Simone Gavros, CHCH News, Hamilton.